This is a quick tutorial for the Twine game building engine. Let's say you want to make a game with a limited turn count. That is, after visiting a certain number of scenes, the game ends. This type of turn count timer may be useful in an open world game, since it forces the player to value their time. I think it makes the player read more carefully, since their decisions really matter, and they can't just keep visiting random places. To set this up, you'll basically need three sets of code. For your convenience, all the codes are below in the description so you can copy and paste into your own game. First, you have to define a variable early in the game that corresponds to the turn count. For example, you might put this code at the beginning of the game, parentheses, set, colon, dollar sign, turn count to zero, end parentheses. Make sure you put this code on a screen that the player cannot access more than once, Otherwise, they can prolong their timer by simply visiting this scene. At the beginning of each scene, you'll need to put this code at the top. This will add 1 to your turn count variable. Put this on every scene where you want time to pass. Then, the last thing is the run out of time check. This is an if command that checks if the variable turn count is greater than some number. It should look like this. The scene where you place this code is tricky. If your game is an open world with a central hub, you can put this code right near the hub since the player will likely return here frequently. If one of the branches leads to the end game scenes, you can also put this code near those points as well. There's an else command in the code that executes normally when the player visits the scene before the turn count is up. This needs to be an else, otherwise the player will be able to get around the game over message by continuing to click the other parts of the game. Now here's a few little tricks you can do with this turn count. If you want to add a layer of realism to your design, consider that not all scenes represent the same amount of time. For example, having a conversation with someone adds one to the turn count, driving from one place to another adds two, walking adds four, and taking a nap adds 12. You can do this by changing how much is added to the turn count variable in each scene. You can also put in text that changes depending on the turn count. Pretend my game takes place over the course of a single day, where each new screen represents one hour passing. You can do different descriptions of the setting depending on when in the day it is. For example, use bounding if statements. Let me show you this turn count in an example game. Here is a Twine map for a game called It Feels Like You've Read This in a Book. I wrote this game for the 2022 Interactive Fiction Competition. The premise of the game is that you have one day to solve a mystery. If you don't fix the problem by the end of the day, the game ends in the bad ending. It's an open world game with one central hub, which is Main Street. Each scene you visit adds to the turn counter. Some actions are quicker than others. Movement only adds a few while waiting in line at the bank or the hospital adds a lot. The timer check is placed here, close to the central hub of the game, as well as here, near some of the endings. Twine is pretty flexible, so there are probably many ways you can do this. This is the solution I came up with. Do you have another way to put a turn counter into your game? Share your code into the comments below. Thanks for joining, and happy writing!